Hi there, if you have reached this video, then you're probably owning one of these wonderful Volkswagen TDI turbo diesel cars. Here in this case, a 2010 Passat with a 170 horsepower, 2 liter engine. But probably at around 200,000 kilometers, your engine will start having problems. It will report a P2015 error. Now, this problem is coming basically from an actuator. This actuator is working on the number of throttle valves in the inlet manifold of the engine. Um, over time it will wear out and uh, whenever it goes back into basic position um, it will go back too far and then the actuator is absolutely not able to move the throttles anymore and then it will shut down and report the P2015 error. Now, there is a number of videos in the internet um, and they are recommending you to buy these wonderful parts here, for example from dieselgeeks.com. Um, they have to be mounted to the actuator and as soon as they are mounted to the actuator they will avoid that the throttle valve is moving too much and that will fix the problem without the need to replace the complete intake manifold. However, if you're owning one of the engines with the plastic manifold then you're in deep trouble because in order to mount this part this little part you have to disassemble basically the complete common rail system take off all the wires and take off all the pipes to be able to remove the plastic manifold and mount this bracket there is another solution to that Basically, it's only an interim solution and here comes the disclaimer. Whenever you do that, you do it on your own risk. If you screw up your engine, it's not my fault. Uh, and this is, to make it clear, only an interim solution. This should not be the final solution to fix the problem. But when you're under time pressure, you have to go to technical uh, tests and exams and uh, you need to fix the error fast. Here's what you do. Um, you manufacture yourself this piece it's basically consisting of a steel or aluminium, preferably steel tube with an 8 mm outer diameter and 5 mm inside diameter and a piece of rubber tube, um, outer diameter 20 mm, inside 8. Um, this distance here is 16 mm. The tube itself is about 50 mm long and seen from the lower part um, to the upside here, it's 36 mm. Very simple. Um, on top, you will cut an M6 thread. Don't forget to thrill the 5mm to 5.5 before, otherwise you cannot cut the thread. And uh, yeah, this is done in about half an hour, cost less than 10 euros. And now please help me the phone. Once it is mounted, it will look like this. And you see the lever is moving, everything is fine, the 2015 problem fixed. The part is mounted with the M6 bolt you see on top, you can hear it working. Again, this is not a permanent solution to the problem, one day you have to buy a new intake manifold or to buy one of these parts, disassemble everything and mount it correctly. But if you need a quick solution to your problem, here it is.